Hi, and welcome to iMazing Tips. Today, I'm going to show you how to transfer your messages between iOS devices without using iCloud. It's easy to restore only messages when you restore a backup with iMazing, but restoring a backup inevitably erases all other content on the target device. So how do you transfer messages but keep the rest of your data intact? First things first, I'd like to warn you that this process involves backup editing, as well as some tinkering with the file system. Should be a fun and geeky ride though. Here's a quick summary of what we'll be doing. First, I'm going to backup my source and target devices. After doing this, I'm going to extract the SMS database and attachments from the source backup and transfer them to my desktop. Once the files are on my desktop, I'm going to inject them into an editable version of my target backup. And finally, I'm going to restore the edited backup to my target device. Note that all the messages on the target device will be replaced by the ones from the source backup. This means that you will lose any recent messages you may have sent or received on that iPhone. Okay, so let's get to it. You'll notice that I have two devices connected. The source device is my old work phone from which I'll be extracting my messages, and the second one is my personal device which will be receiving them. Before going further, make sure that the target device is running at least the same version of iOS as the source device. Now, since Messages app data can only be accessed and restored through the backup, I'll first need to backup both iPhones. I've chosen to backup with encryption enabled because besides the fact that it's more secure for my data, sensitive data sets like Health, Keychain, and HomeKit aren't backed up if encryption isn't enabled. So, to do this, I'm going to select my first device, click Options in the Actions list, click Enable next to Backup Encryption, enter a password, confirm, and click Done. If you're interested in learning more about how to secure your backups, click on the card in the video now. Once I've enabled encryption, I'm going to click Backup in the Actions list. If this is your first time backing up, you can also set up other features like automatic backups and a custom backup location. But I'll just leave things as is and click Backup. While my first device is backing up, I'm going to do the same for my target device. Now that my iPhones are both backed up, I'm going to extract the messages data from my work phone. To do this, I'm going to open the file system view and choose the column layout to make things extra readable. After this, I'm going to navigate to Backup, Home Domain, Library, and drag and drop the SMS folder to my desktop. The next step will allow me to extract all of the attachments from my messages. First, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop, which I'll call something like SMS Attachments, and then I'm going to go to Media Domain, Library, SMS, and drag and drop all of its files and folders to the folder I just created. Now that my messages and attachments are all on my desktop, I'm going to switch to my target device and transfer the extracted files to it. I'm going to select the target device, click the backups list, select my latest backup, and click the edit button. A pop-up will appear asking me to enter a name for my backup copy. I'm going to type in message transfer and confirm. The great thing about editable backups is that they don't take any extra space and they guarantee that my original data is never accidentally deleted or modified. Worst case scenario, I'll be able to restore the original backup and delete the editable copy. Once the copy is ready, all I need to do is select it, go to the file system view, and drag and drop my SMS and attachments files and folders back into their respective locations. I'm going to navigate to Home Domain, Library, and drag and drop the SMS folder from my desktop to iMazing and overwrite the backup folder. After that, I'm also going to navigate to Media Domain, Library, SMS, and drag and drop the files from the SMS attachments folder back into iMazing. This will overwrite the backup's contents. And now my backup is ready to be restored to my new device. To restore my backup, I'm going to select it and click the Restore to Device button in the Actions list. This will open the Backup Restore Wizard where I can select my target device, click Next, and then customize the restore process. This time around, I'll just go ahead and click Next. And now you know how to transfer your messages to a new device. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. More amazing tips will follow shortly. Thanks for watching.